inspiring forward thinkers, future leaders, change makers. Allowing all our children to learn and grow in safe schools as part of a diverse community. Getting our children the best in the state and therefore the nation. Every school having the best employees and giving them the resources they need to do their jobs well. Doing whatever it takes to give every child, every child, the opportunity to succeed regardless of who they are or where they come from. Here's what it means to me. I believe in the promise of public education. I believe the promise of public education is a promise we make to each other. It's about a community coming together to empower young people, like me. It's a way of telling the next generation, you matter, and you're important, and you are going to succeed no matter what, no matter what. In Frederick County Public Schools, we make sure that every child knows they're important. Every one of our students deserves and gets personal attention, personal caring, and personal service. Every one of our FCPS staff comes to work every day with one goal in mind. Make sure that every child is prepared to achieve. One of our FCPS parents, Mrs. Hannah Stewart, wrote us a letter about how FCPS staff came together to give her daughter, Ella, the best possible school experience. Every child has anxieties about the start of school. Who's going to be my teacher? What's it like to ride the bus? Parents have those same anxieties. That's normal. What's special about this story is how FCPS staff rallied around Ella to make sure that she knew she matters. That's the promise of public education. Our daughter just started her kindergarten year at Oakdale Elementary. This was our first school experience for our family and we were all anxious to get the year started. Our daughter was very nervous about riding the bus. We tried everything we could think of to help her overcome this fear, but ended up driving her to school the first few days. We were desperate to make everything about school a positive experience, so I contacted Jeannie Thompson with the Frederick County Public Schools Department of Transportation. When I made the call, I did not know exactly what I was looking for, but thought that someone may be able to offer helpful strategies. A few hours after we made the call to Mrs. Thompson, she showed up at our home with a shoebox full of goodies related to the bus. She introduced herself and shared that our daughter's bus driver, Mr. Larry Davis, would be coming to our home to take her on a bus ride. Soon after, Mr. Larry arrived and took us on a trial bus ride. He took the extra time to explain everything to her. The caring and compassion that these two individuals displayed was outstanding. We are happy to report that our daughter now rides the bus every day and is very excited. We will never forget how special they made her feel. I'm sure she will not forget either. We were so impressed that we wanted to make sure these individuals get recognized for their dedication to making school a positive experience for families and their children. The promise of public education is about achievement. It's about making sure our students can compete and win at the highest levels. Frederick County Public Schools graduate students who think critically, network globally, and master challenging fields like math and science. Gary is an amazing young student who shows that in Frederick County, we try hard every day to help our kids reach the highest levels of achievement in academics in extracurriculars, and athletics. We expect great things from all of our students, and they deliver. But what Gary has done is truly remarkable. 
Gary and his family traveled to Frederick County from Peru. They were seeking better opportunities and a brighter future for their son. They knew that in Frederick County Public Schools, Gary would be embraced and nurtured, that he would be empowered to succeed. Gary's story shows the notion that academic excellence combined with high character and the desire to do something great leads to big opportunity and stellar success. Gary is a very talented student. Um, when he came to here three years ago to bio, he just came with all of this excitement. He came, he loved genetics. He, he carried with him a lot of enthusiasm and he worked very hard. He kept, he would come for help. He would seek out help. He would form study groups. Uh, he is what students should be. I mean, when I first came here, I could barely speak English. I could barely say hi or my name. All the teachers were really nice, and, and yes, they encouraged me to take harder classes, to try to, well, to do always my best, to always improve. He was always looking for opportunities to further his science education. He was always looking for something new, something more. He never was satisfied with status quo. The internship at NCI is a very competitive internship. It is approximately a year-long application process, but it is very difficult to get in. Uh, not every single person gets in that applies. Uh, you do have to go meet with the mentors and the mentors have to choose you. When they saw my transcript, they could understood that uh, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to improve every day. I'm trying to take the hardest classes. Uh, my mentor could see and feel that I'm one of those that gives everything they have to do their best. Uh, probably that's why they choose me. My dad and my mom, they have always I'm planning that chip that says, you know, always do your best. Para traer a, a mi hijo a los Estados Unidos hice un poco, hice búsqueda entre los colegios para ver qué colegios le ofrecían. El Colegio Frederick High School presentaba diversidad y muy buenos programas. Era para mí importante eso. Yo me siento muy identificada con Frederick, ¿no? o sea. Y yo estoy envuelta en la comunidad. Mi esposo es el que trabaja y yo soy la que se envuelve, se puede decir. Entonces, yo puedo ver eh, la comparación con los colegios, puedo ver que los profesores son excelentes, puedo sentir que todos nos conocemos acá porque todo es muy pequeño, todos estamos juntos. Uno conoce al otro, el otro conoce a otro y siempre el ánimo es ayudar. Ahora, yo puedo decir, tengo mis hermanos que viven en Montgomery, pero ahí no pasa lo mismo. I feel this is a, a place that I like, a place for I belong to, and I, I really feel that. Uh, that's, it'll be, it's, it's sad that I'm leaving, but I know that you know, uh, college is a new challenge. Every student that ha has a right to education, and Gary's just an example of one that takes it for everything it's worth. He, he pushes, he learns more, he tries harder, he seeks out help, so it's great to see enthusiasm like that. It is a promise to, as teachers, to make our students successful, to, make the, to give them the attention that they need to go in the world and be successful citizens and, and the next generation. And it's a promise to our kids. We have to, we have to give all of ourselves so that they can give all of themselves. Achievement matters, and yes, if you look at the data, we're making the grade. But in Frederick County, we do more than just deliver great numbers. We put heart into everything we do. For us, it's about caring. Let me tell you about Claire Menke. Her story is a great example about how Frederick County Public Schools balances amazing results with personal caring. Claire struggles with physical challenges caused by muscular dystrophy. But Frederick County Public School teachers and staffs rallied around Claire and her family to help her overcome these challenges and make it all the way to graduation. In fact, as her health presented greater challenges, her teachers and friends of Frederick County Public Schools came together for a very special graduation. Claire is more than a student. She's family. Claire went to Middletown Middle School 
and she also went to Myersville Elementary School. And um, she's felt very comfortable in our, you know, in our schools here. They've, you know, really taken her as just she, just another one of the kids. The staff have been, I mean, they've come up with things that I wouldn't have even imagined to make her experience, you know, normal. Claire has worked so hard. Um, I have known her for the past three years and have been a part of her education and aware of what she needs and um, the academics. She tries very hard. She is not someone, if I don't feel good, I'm not going to do my work. She will continue to press on because she has a goal. And I think that we can learn a lot from someone who's able to just set that goal and achieve it. Claire is a living example and proof of something that I repeatedly tried to talk about when I was principal at Middletown High School, and that is people have a tendency not to push themselves beyond a comfortable limit, and, and she has certainly done that. She has, you know, pushed herself beyond what even others thought were her capabilities. So she's a living example of, you know, everything that I really value. You know, the staff here appreciate, you know, just her tenacity. Being able to accommodate her needs in the classroom without it being overly obvious. Um, you know, making suggestions when her health was not really good, how she wanted to continue school, so we did the home hospital teaching. And she was really kept in the loop of the school even though she wasn't well enough to come. And that's one reason why she has pushed so hard and has actually completed her requirements early because she has a never quit, you know, attitude. You know, just seeing them wanting her to be able to, to graduate and, you know, make it special for her. Um, they've done this in 24 hours. You know, they've just all come together and I think every step of the way, that's the way they've been. You know, she talked about it being a family, and they are. Um, it's been a journey. Um, I've grown. I've developed not only physically, but mentally. Um, it's been a fun experience. They've just many um, helped with making high school a fun experience. And that's really what I'll miss all the staff and friends and family that I'm going to love. E education is, it, it's hard to just say how important it is. Uh, you just can't have a strong economy, you just can't have a progressive country if you don't have strong education. Um, I always, when people ask me what the number one issue is, I say economic development and education. You can't separate them. I think that we're beginning to attract the kind of jobs and the higher, uh, higher paid jobs that is really important that uh, we prepare our students to take those jobs. I think the public school system is great and will continue to be that way and uh, it's one of many reasons why a business would want to locate here or a person would want to move here. It's the, the whole quality of life. It's, we have a bit of everything led by a good school system. Well, I, I used to have some people that looking at coming here or coming here and saying, well, what private school do you put your children in? And I said, I went to public school and all my children went to public school. Uh, I think public schools are what made America great. When I left the mayor's office, I had uh, a reporter ask me, what was your greatest accomplishment for the 16 years you were mayor? And I think he was expecting me to say downtown or Carroll Creek or something like that. And, I said that uh, I have four sons, they all went to college and they all came back to Frederick and were able to pursue their careers here. 
strong education and strong growth and, and economic development, it lets any child that wants to, or young adult at that point, come back to their own community to make their community better and to, to live uh, near their parents and where they grew up. And I, I think that's one of the great parts of uh, Frederick, that people feel part of it. They come back, they, they work here, they volunteer here, they in, enjoy living here. I'm proud of our school system. Uh, I think, you know, we're still at the beginning. We can go much, much higher and achieve much more. And uh, I think uh, we have the people in place to do that. And I, I think the outlook for Frederick County is great. And the backbone of that's our education system.